Yeah. So tell us about so this new uh, design. This is the anti-sinking design. This is the anti-sinking direct. Um, came out came out from the tricopter. It's in the bottom right hand corner. You're going to see it tip over and just go under. Whoa! Whoa! Straight down. What happened? Paul, where is it? In there. I got it. Right down. Where is it? Where is it? Right down here. Out. It's like a motor cutout. Go now. A little bit further out. So what am I going to do? Huh? I reckon it's a motor cutout. On the side of you, you know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just remember, you've got to have problems when you go right under. Yes, there you go, guys. Um, so the idea behind it is that we should be able to land this in water. Um, and uh, yeah, look, the idea for the H is just to get a big viewing area in front of the GoPro. Ah, okay then. I mean, that's okay. the main thing behind So it, is this so. one FPV ready? It looks like it, it is, is, isn't it? Is, it is FPV ready, so you might have seen some of the videos I did at, um, in Queensland. And I was filmed using this. Oh, okay, is this the aircraft you used? Yeah, this is the one. So I'll just switch over to the h code on the controller. And we'll fire this one up. And we'll see this one's using the big props, but you know what? It's, it's really a lot heavier and it's hard to compare. But I'll fire it up anyway and see how it goes in this wind. It's actually not balanced either because it needs a GoPro at the front. <laughs> oh, okay. So, all right, but we'll just give it, a quick, give it a quick run. We're staying in the garage just because we've got to make a run for it. <laughs> well, that's pretty big, isn't it? It's a big thing. It's a... Oh, it's really blowing the gale. Don't get behind you, whatever you do. Oh, oh. So, yeah, you can see that the wind's really giving this thing a hard time. So, I'm going to fit this out with some smaller propellers as well and just see if I can make that any better. Okay, I'm going to switch it off because I'm hanging now. If I was really good, I'd just take off and fly up to the tree and back. But, you know what? I don't think I'll do that. Good idea. <laughs> so there you go. But I'll give it to Paul and he can try it. Paul? Oh, I'll smash it for sure. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. So yeah, you can. I think you can see the difference with yeah. the smaller prop and the bigger prop. Definitely. Um, look, I'll, I'll convert this over and I'll give it an, another go in, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow or something like that. From, so, from a cin cinematography point of view, it looks as though this one's going to be a, a really good one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, the camera's mounted way up front and there's just really no chance of, yeah. of the uh, video picking up any of the, yeah. any of the propellers. Yeah. Um, when I switch to the smaller props, you, you never see them at all. How long will you leave with the AC? You know, what I've, I've got this soft mounted as well, so you can see that there's a, it's just sort of floating on that yeah. really soft foam, and it actually makes quite a big difference. Okay. We have a little visitor here with us. Hello. You? Do you want to go for a ride? Do you want to sit here? And I'll see if I can take you up to the top of your uh, house there. What do you think? Maybe not. Okay. So, um, yeah, so uh, look, it's like I said, this is all FPV ready. I've got a bit of foam over the um, the barometric sensor there. Ah, uh, okay. And it's basically just to stop any wind gusts sort of coming through and changing the air pressure. Um, I'll go for the ASE. Looks really good. Yeah, look, it's, it's all right. It's just really heavy. This PVC pipe is really heavy. It's not very strong. Um, so you're running the room Zibby on this one? Yep. You yep. haven't got any um, anything on the other one yet? No, no, I've only really got one FPV set up at the moment. Okay. Mm. Well, looks good. Looking good. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping to convert over to to the lighter tubing that I purchased from um, the two dollar shop. I'll just show you that stuff. This stuff's every. This is high tech. <laughs> So this is some really high-tech plastic material that I've actually managed to pick up. So this is aircraft grade, isn't it? This is aircraft grade candy cane. <laughs> Something Santa would, would probably use a lot in his um, workshop. 
but you can see this stuff I'm not really sure what material it's kind of like an acrylic kind of base plastic very very stiff now this was used and on the other really quad you made ages ago wasn't it the black one it was the one that's in the US now isn't it um, no that was the smaller stuff this is about 24 mil oh, okay diameter yep um, the older stuff I've got is about 80 mil which I haven't been able to find but this stuff's freely available during um, the Christmas period go out and buy some highly recommend it get a lifetime supply um, just compare that with the uh, with the PVC tubing and you know it's only a, a little bit longer but Thomas do you want to feel the weight just tell me the difference in weight tell us the weight difference so just, just have a bit of a feel of that and have a bit of a feel of this one. Oh, big difference so what would you say about half the weight um yeah probably yeah and I think the in terms of in terms of the strength like you wouldn't really say that this is a lot stronger I mean, it is, it is, you know, it does flex a little bit, but, you know, I really yeah, like the, yeah, I mean, in terms of the weight factor, you, you, if you build something like that, it'd be about half the weight. Okay. And at the moment, that's, that's a 690 gram frame. I really wanted to get it under 400 grams, okay. if possible. So. Looks okay. good. Thank you. Let's go shopping, Thomas. <laughs> Yeehaw! Candy canes! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good.